this video of this lady does not exist, neither does the person whom you see in the video. Everything is generated by AI. This is what the Sora model is promising with OpenAI creating a text to video AI model. And just look at this. This is animals on a beach on a race and on a bicycle. In addition to that, look at this. This is a Blink Zoo which is created completely by AI. And this is fascinating. Imagine having every childhood dream of yours into short clips and put them together and create the most amazing story that you need. I, you can even see that they have actually named the text within the video also like Blink Zoo. And that is crazy to see. That means it will be very easy to generate images using that. Look at this, such a cute video of two dogs podcasting. But Sora can do so much more and also a bit less. There are some weaknesses to the model. And I want to go into deal, detail with you and show you what those are. First of all, let's see some of the cool video animation. Like this is a complete one minute video of a model walking on the streets of Tokyo. She wears a black leather jacket and so that you can see everything that they have defined here. You can even read the prompt completely and you can see everything about the video possible. One of my favorite ones is actually this one, like just having a serene beauty of nature created using AI is crazy good because, you know, getting these shots is so difficult. But again, this just gives you like, you know, I want to create something specific for my own city and I can do that and I don't need even a camera. And again, this is so cute. Also, like, you know, if you look at this very nice animated scene of a short fluffy multi candle and like the prompts are pretty detailed, but like, just look at the quality. Like this is created by a computer without any intervention. These are completely created by the model. Now, again, this is being right now accessible to red teamers, which are people who are going to assess what can create with it. For example, it should not be able to create a political figure or a leader or someone who is celebrity because then you can use their video and do whatever you want with them and that would be pretty scary. So they are obviously testing it out and also with the visual artists and filmmakers. Like this is super great. Like you can see this is a very close view of the class as a Zen garden with this small dwarf. And like these videos would probably be actually not be able to ever create it if it wasn't for AI. Like just to create that you will need motion graphics and everything else and you can't create it as a, I, I have no skill to create this. This does not look like created using AI. Like this literally does not look like it. And it's created on Nigeria the year of 2056. And I mean, don't know why it still looks not that developed. It's probably because of the training data set. And that's why you need multiple models. Uh, just like, like that, yeah. It also able to generate great scenes like this car driving over with all the landscapes. And the prompt is pretty simple. Like if you look at it. Just giving it every example of what you need in the scene and you can get it generated. Surrounded with street pills, with clear blue sky, wispy clouds, everything can be input. And we just look at a couple of more examples just to see what we actually have here. Imagine a drone camera circles around a beautiful historic church and you can see how this is beautiful. Like just mind work, right? But again, it also has a couple of options to create multiple shots within a single generated video. For example, tour of an art gallery with many beautiful works of art in different styles. Like this is an extremely complex video to generate for an AI because it not only has to generate the video, it also has to generate the art within the video. And that is obviously true for everything else also, but this is actually pretty difficult to do because it has to do everything on a specific way. But obviously there are weaknesses, like some of them are obviously, for example, mixing up left and right, struggle of precise description of events. Like for example, if you look at this, is basketball through hope, then explodes. So it goes and then explodes, but it then still has a basketball. Or one of the cute ones is this one, where you can see five gray wolf pups. That's the whole prompt that to like, you know, work with them. But you can see that it is not five, it is going into one another and everything, and it's generating image. So obviously there are a couple of weaknesses that they have talked about, and obviously it will improve over time with the technology improving and slowly getting better. And uh, excavating and dusting it with great care. It, there is already a plastic chair, but then again, there is some issue and like, again, it's crazy good about what we have come to, but still there are weaknesses because I'm pretty sure they are looking at excellence to come up and it's a, it's a, it's a crazy video. It's a really, really crazy video, but awesome. But there are still some things that haven't been discussed in this part. Now, I would like to go into a bit more detail about what Sora can do and how it works. Again, now I'm not 
go and do go and do details about this but i'm just going to go to what they have told and what they're telling you now first they go ahead and start by explaining how it's going to work so one of their inspirations has been from the llm model and sora ha has used something called visual batches so for a llms you have text scope so it has visual batches which are like run like like image batches which go to visual encoder and then finally generate video so at very high level as they explain they turn videos into batches by first compressing videos and then finally create them into videos and again we will not go into this much detail about the technicalities of it i'm pretty sure there would be much better videos about them but i want to show you how the compute differs so like at base compute and then it becomes better on it so it's going to require a lot of computational power to create these videos so i'm not even sure about what the pricing of these videos would specifically be now one of the best things is that they can you know create videos in multiple ways so you can create videos which are vertical with create videos in multiple resolutions you can create video which are full scale this is the same video created at different aspect ratios different pixel sizes and you can see the images and the videos look so great and you can have multiple videos of like this and create it in the format you want so you're not stuck on just a widescreen format as specifically something and also yes you can prototype content at a lower size that means that yes you don't have to spend so much compute power if you're just testing the model out so they saw that the model that they were training on just square videos which is actually a training practice was not generating proper videos but they just took the videos as they were in the original aspect ratio and trained a model using that in addition to that they are bringing in the language understanding of dali if you know dali really does a very good job at understanding what you want in the image they are bringing the same way to sora and i'm pretty sure sora will be embedded within chat cpt but i'm not sure how the pricing will look because this is going to require a much higher compute level than everything that we are using right now maybe a different plan or maybe a certain limit for the paid plan and then you can buy credits or something but that's something great to you but look at these like you know if you can see the image being different so a woman wearing blue jeans and white t-shirt in mumbai india during a winter storm it looks pretty different than what it will look like on a different dress and they try to show mumbai also at, as a aspect again it's just great how far you have come to see and this is one of my favorites okay you look at this woman and then you also look at how this will change when they change the scenery about it with the person so old man and this old man again in antarctica it all not only understands the context of how the person should look like but also what the person would be wearing with additional things and xyz and this is crazy crazy good like i i think there's still the kangaroo previously was better but okay now again the second thing is it also works with dali to animate the images right and you can use like imagine every image of yours that you create using dali become the gif automatically one of the favorite ones are this this includes like you know creates an image because they are saying that you can also input images as an input so you don't need to just input a text you can also input an image and create a video based on that like this is probably one of my favorites so they input the image like this and then say image of realistic value that's spelled sora and this one is crazy so this is the image that dali created on the left hand side and on the right hand side you can see that two surfers skillfully navigating and see i'll just zoom in a bit to show you this better and it looks crazy right like just imagine getting this generated using yeah and then one of this is the probably one of the craziest features extending generated videos now what does this mean very simply like you know just i'll actually let you show these whole three videos are starting a bit before or ending a bit before but you can see that they will all reach the same conclusion it can go backward in time and forward in time imagine something that clipped for four seconds and it will go both left and right it's crazy good to imagine i'm, I'm just awestruck by where we have gone now this is a video to video editing where you can like you know just very simply edit using the video i am not sure how good this will be but you look at this this is the input video and then change the setting to be in lush jungle if this is possible in the way that they have shown in the example that the input video can do editing in such a better format i will be the happiest because i don't have an editor and i really do all this editing by myself and i am not a great editor so it's just crazy to see that this video becomes this by change the setting to be in a lush jungle let's go and make it underwater and oh my god it's so good like it's it's a road underwater but we can actually make it have dinosaurs and let's see how does that go this is not that great 
because the dinosaurs are not working. Let's see, pixel art style. It's 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 all a bit clear. I think my internet is a bit slow. Let's see. Yeah, so it generated with pixel art style, and this is really, really good. Like, imagine this, this looks like a cartoon. You would create 2D games if you want to very quickly and very easily. Okay, let's go next. Now, this is one of the favorite features that I saw. It's connecting videos, okay? So if you just look at this, how the example works is, let me just zoom out so you can see it in detail. Now, how this works is very simply that you have on the left one video on the right another video and these two videos then merge to become the video in the middle but let me start to like this is the, the drone going in and then who's turned it it into a butterfly which will literally be part of the water and this is crazy this will require some crazy editing skills if someone had to do it and this happens automatically look at the one below this is super good okay so i'll just show you the final video like this is happens and a snow family is there but idea is that this is a snow globe or whatever you call it into this and merge this into an image again a very simple editing technique i'm pretty sure a professional video editor would be like this for more than 10 minutes but for people who don't know video editing this is crazy good like imagine mixing this with this i actually want to see the result for this one. Oh my god that's pretty great like again it's a very simple editing style probably but i'm not a video editor so i'm obviously awestruck with this and in addition to that, they have also made Sora capable of generating images. I'm not sure what the goal behind this is. Is it going to replace Dali or not? But you can see that modern can generate multiple images of multiple resolutions. And the quality of the images is much, much better. Like, it's just really better. And I'm pretty sure this can give very good competition to Midjourney, which is still needing another image generation. Or to be honest, this is where they are bragging about the features that they have. But also they should because it is actually amazing. The first one is 3D consistency. You can see how the video goes and actually checks out it. The camera moves in a 3D world automatically. Like look at this video. It is going out and generating a 3D capability completely in a crazy way, zooming in on the people and everything else. Just the ability to do this may seem simple. It's not it's super crazy. Second is object permanence. So what does that mean? Look at the image on the left. This is a dog. And the dog is, if you see, is in a window, but the point is people are moving in front of that window. And it still see that the dog does not move, the image is not getting distorted, the video still stays the same. And that is super great. And also with the robot being there, it's just super crazy that you can have the same element of the video in multiple different settings. This is interacting with the world. Very simply, this is crazy good that, you know, like, you know, very simple a burger being eaten and there are bite marks being left. There are brush strokes being painted. There are just so many simple things that are being able to done by the model, which is really, really good. And this is something awesome that you can also generate Minecraft worlds using the video. And uh, very simply, you can be elicited by zero shot from this. That means you don't need to work a lot of effort. That means the other techniques may require a bit more of effort, but I'm ready to do that and just simulate digital worlds. Now, obviously, everything is not perfect. Like, for example, the glass shattering effect that they're trying to do does not work perfectly. The glass is shattered before and then it happens. So mostly the physics of the moment, some of these movements is not perfectly done. But again, I think that is just a model of like, you know, the way it works. It will take some time. Like, they'll put it out there, they'll get feedback. We probably get more training data from other places and, you know, just create these things. I mean, it's just, so crazy to see what is happening if you look at this this was created by ai can you look at this this person does not exist it's just crazy the way it is working but that's all for the video thank you so much for watching and i'll request you to please subscribe i'm really trying to build a channel about teaching people about ai in all aspects and one subscribe and like will really help me a lot thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one